Hello, in this demo, we will see how the Big Cloud Fabric Enterprise Cloud Controller integrates with the NSXT deployments by creating an Enterprise VPC or eVPC in the underlay and providing real-time visibility. Big Cloud Fabric Enterprise Cloud is powered by an STN controller to build a leaf spine fabric using open networking switches. Unlike box by box networks, Big Cloud Fabric provides a single pane of glass and integrates with various VMware STDC products and operates the entire fabric as a single logical switch. Big Cloud Fabric Enterprise Cloud leverages cloud networking principles, which use the construct of virtual private cloud like Amazon VPC for logical isolation across multiple tenants. Similarly, Big Cloud Fabric Controller creates enterprise VPCs or eVPCs in the fabric for each of your VMware deployment, allowing logical isolation and multi-tenancy. If communication is desired between the eVPCs, then eVPC peering can be established. Big Cloud Fabric Enterprise Cloud is an ideal underlay fabric for NSXT as it enables you to have an optimal STN architecture across overlay and underlay. Big Cloud Fabric not only allows you to create eVPC in the underlay that is dedicated to your NSX deployment, but also provides real-time visibility for the network admins into NSX hosts, VTAPs, VMs, and logical switches. Real-time fabric trace for Geneve tunnels across the Big Cloud Fabric underlay also makes troubleshooting easy. Let's take a look at the topology. Big Cloud Fabric Controller is managing a two-rack leaf spine fabric that provides underlay connectivity to the two ESXi and one KVM node that are connected to the fabric. Big Cloud Fabric Controller can reach the NSXT Manager and NSXT Controller over the management network. Looking at the logical topology, we can see that each node has been configured as a VTAP and has VM sitting behind it. The transport subnet in the NSXT eVPC will provide the underlay connectivity for the establishment of the Geneve tunnels between the NSXT nodes. Moving to the NSXT Manager GUI, we can see that our three nodes are acting as NSXT transport nodes and are all belonging to the overlay transport zone. NSX Manage VDS overlay host switch is present on each of these nodes. NSXT logical switch with VNI 5000 is created here and we have three highlighted VMs that are connected to this logical switch. In the rest of this video, we will see easy steps to enable the NSXT eVPC in the Big Cloud Fabric Controller. Then we will focus on the real-time visibility for NSXT host, VTAPs, VMs and logical switches all from the Big Cloud Fabric Controller GUI. And lastly, we will see how we can run the fabric trace for Geneve tunnels across the Big Cloud Fabric underlay. Here we are looking at the Big Cloud Fabric Controller GUI. We do not have any NSXT eVPCs created yet. Let's create one. First, we provide the name for the NSXT instance, NSXT Manager IP, and login credentials. Next, we provide the name for the NSXT eVPC, and then we are done. Here we can see all the eVPCs and the subnets that are automatically pulled from each eVPC. We can see our newly created NSXT eVPC along with NSX V eVPC, a couple of vCenter eVPCs, WIC and VIO eVPC. Clicking on any of these eVPCs will filter the subnets belonging to that eVPC. Let's take a closer look at the NSXT eVPC transport subnet. Here we can see the transport VLAN 99 has been provisioned on the Big Cloud Fabric interface group that connects to the host uplinks. In the endpoints table, we can see all the VTEPs that have been auto-discovered in this subnet, allowing the Geneve tunnels to get established between the NSXT transport nodes. We switch back to the NSXT manager GUI and verify that a full mesh of Geneve tunnels are established. Now let's look at the real-time visibility into the NSXT deployment from Big Cloud Fabric controller GUI. Here we can see a quick summary on the number of NSXT hosts, virtual switch, and endpoints. Scrolling down, we can see an easy to interpret graphical representation of the NSXT host networking showing the NSX managed overlay host switch for each host and which interfaces the VDS uplinks are connected to the Big Cloud Fabric. Endpoint table shown here provides useful information about the auto discovered NSXT VMs and VTEPs like the name, power state, and IP address to name a few. 
The logical switch view provides both the overlay and underlay information in a single graphic, making it very easy to perform underlay-overlay correlation. You can see all the NSXT VMs, NSXT logical switch they connect to, the host nodes and the VTAPs, and how the host top links are connected to the Big Cloud fabric. Lastly, we look at how we can trace the path taken by the Geneve tunnels across the Big Cloud fabric underlay. Fabric Trace allows the admin to trace the end-to-end -end part of the packet with a single click and no box-by-box -box hopping. A sample result of the Fabric Trace is shown here, which shows the path taken by the Geneve tunnel between the NSXT transport nodes through the Big Cloud Fabric underlay. Let's see how we got this information. Using Test Path, we can select the Geneve tunnel source IP, the tunnel destination IP, and simply run the Fabric Trace. The results show all the switches the packet traversed along with the ingress and the egress interface for each op. If the trace is incomplete, you can see how far the packet travels and pinpoint the offending switch. Additional details about each hop are also presented on the left hand side. To try the hands on lab on the Big Cloud Fabric, please visit us at labs.bigswitch.com. This brings us to the end of the demo. Thanks for watching.